Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, I've had a request to answer this question from an IGCSE uh, paper. I haven't done an IGCSE question for some time now, but um, I'm going to, of course, I do answer IGCSE questions as well as A-level questions. Now, this question is about areas. And here you have a shape like a fan type of shape. It says the diagram shows part of a fan. OFG, OFG and OAD. OAD are sectors, center O. So the sectors of circles, center O, with radius 18 um, centimeters. So that's the radius from O to F and so on. That's 18 centimeters. And a sector angle of 40 degrees. B, C, H and E lie on a circle, center O and radius six centimeters, calculate the shaded area. Okay, so there, there's plenty of ways we could actually work out the shaded area here. Um, however, I think personally the quickest way of doing it would be to work out the area of these two sectors separately and work out the area of these two sectors, which is like the sector BOE and COH, and add them together. Now. You can see that the sector OAD and OFG are the same, exactly they're identical. This is 40 degrees here. It's like, you know, these are called vertically opposite angles. And these two angles will be the same as well. And that the size of these two angles must be 140 degrees because of angles in a straight line. These two add up to 180. And, you know, that's 140 and that's 140. So what I would do is I would find the area of the two big sectors okay so you've got let's take one of them which is let's take OFG that's 40 degrees and from O to F is 18 centimeters and we have two of these and also we have two of these sectors which you can call OBE And these are 140 degrees, and that length here is 6 centimeters. This is probably the easiest way of doing it. And you've got two of these. So we've got two times. You've got now, to find the area of a sector, you need a particular fraction of the whole area as if it was a whole circle. So you know the whole circle would be pi r squared, okay, which would be pi times 18 squared. However, we want the area of just this fraction of the whole circle. Okay, so that's going to be the fraction that we want is the fraction that 40 makes with the whole angle, which is 360. So it's 40 over 360 times pi r squared. Okay, so I'll just put the number straight away, pi times 18 squared. Okay, so the, the area of a sector is angle over 360 times pi r squared. So here the r is 18. And for this one, you're going to have two times. This time it's going to be 140 over 360. But this time the circle is of a smaller radius, 6 centimeters. So it's pi times 6 squared. So we can work out what these answers are and add them together. So we'll have 2 times 40 over 360. times pi times 18 squared. Make sure we did everything right there. That gives us 72 pi. I'll, I'll leave it in terms of pi for now. And at the end, I'll, I'll round it to 3SF. And this is um, almost the same. Let me just change these numbers. This is going to be a 6. And this is going to be a 140. So 2 times 140 over 360 times pi times 6 squared. Yep. And that gives us 28 pi. Whoops. 28 pi. So we can say the total area. 72 plus 28, which is 100 pi. And 100 pi is equal to 314 point two
Yeah, let's just make sure that we've got 28 pi plus 72 pi. That's 100 pi, and that's 314.159, 314.2, but we should, re we should round our answers to three significant figures. So the final answer for this question is therefore going to be 314 centimeters squared. If the answer is not exact, which is it's not an exact answer, and unless otherwise specified, we should round our answers to three significant figures, as is the instruction right at the beginning of the paper, as you will see here. So you can see right at the beginning of the paper, it does mention that if the answer is not exact, give the answer to three significant figures and give the answers in degrees to one decimal place. So this is not in degrees, this is just this is an area, so we have to give the answer to 3SF if it's not exact. Okay, so that's what that's the answer to this question. 314 centimeters squared. Okay, so this question, as I said, could, could have been answered in different ways. Um, I think the easiest way is what I did, taking this sector and multiplying it by two, taking this sector and multiplying it by two and adding together. Um, some people might take the area of this circle and then add the area of this shape here, but then you'd have to find the area of the big sector and take away the area of the small sector. Um, I think there's a bit more hassle involved there. So either way, it still would have been correct if you did it correctly and you would have got all the marks, but I think this is quicker. So there we have the answer to question number 19. Thank you for watching.